Hello and welcome back to Robbie's Arcade. Well, it's time for another one of the crossover games of the 90s. My God, there were a lot of them, weren't there? For right from straight away with X-Men vs. Street Fighter and Robocop vs. Terminator and so many kinds of crossover game, it was only inevitable that some big, big licenses were going to be crossed over in the gaming world. However, this one is where there's an exception. Alien vs. Predator existed in comic book form, later in uh, movie form, and already in PC home game form. R Alien vs Predator was one of those games that had two licenses pushed together beautifully. They were both made by 20th Century Fox and both licenses were up for grabs. And of course, one of the biggest arcade net games, uh, names in the 90s, other than Sega, that got their hands on it was of course Capcom. Later on, both Aliens games and indeed one Predator game would be purchased and made by Sega but this game luckily Capcom got a hold of it and I'm, to be honest I'm pretty glad because if I was going to pick a developer that was going to make a walk along beat em up game with some truly intuitive controls and a great sense of graphics and immersion I would go Capcom. Now this game utilised the popular CPS2 engine and I'll be giving you more information about that later on in the video along with of course the trivia you have here at Robbie's Arcade but let's face it what you want to see is just how good the walk-along beat-em-up game Alien vs Predator was. So let's get some credits inside this game. Let's hear that. Time to hunt. Time to hunt. Poorly recorded. Okay. Let's get ourselves into this game. Okay. So I'm not controlling anything, as you can see. Aliens are pretty much covering us all. I believe this is the same sequence we saw at the beginning, so let's skip it. Let's get into it. Now, let's be honest. If you could pick anyone, of course you're going to pick a Predator, but shall we go for one that's more skill than power or power than skill? I'm going to go skill. Skill McGill. Let's try that out. Now, again, played this game a very long time ago on a holiday abroad, but straight away, look how many bloody enemies are on screen. Straight away, there's another thing. Very early on, a feature I think it's almost depressingly missing from a lot of Walkamong beat-em-ups. We can see the energy bars of our opponents. I know it sounds silly, but such a feature is a big, big deal. Um, also, we have the laser, the Predator's laser, which is quite nice. But walk along beat em ups, I don't know at what point someone decided it would be worth putting that on screen. About, um, oh, there we go, what's happening here? We've got demonstration on screen, and oh, this is, what's going on here? Okay, let's have a look. Okay, we're up against a chrysalis, whatever that is. Oh, and you can drop your weapon as well. Again, there's a lot going for this game. It's quite intuitive. Also, we have a nice jump facility. It's quite nice. You do feel like you've got more control. I've played quite a lot of very shoddily, shoddily controlled walk-along beat-em-ups um, over the past few months. And this is definitely a game I think a lot of work has gone into that control method. Also, getting to use the Predator laser, brilliant. If they don't incorporate some form of the wrist bomb going off in the course of this game, I will be so disappointed. And there we go, we've defeated the boss. That felt good. There's no denying it, that felt good. It felt playable, it felt very good to play. It felt like I was in control. There was a good balance of damage against the enemies and damage being done to me. I, I like this game, I'll be honest. Very early on, this is nice. I think it's weird that they're talking to the Predator in English. Um, now, I don't know if any of you guys caught the books, Alien vs Predator. Very, very good series of books, particularly the first couple. They kind of went all over the place. Oh. I also like the fact that we've got the dogs from Alien 3 and we've got guns. Now this feels like Cadillacs and dinosaurs. This, no, this is a good mix of enemies. I'll be honest, I definitely enjoy this. Okay, we have infinite lasers now. That was a power up I want more often. The Pokemon catcher in me loves power ups. 
No, I can definitely see this game isn't available currently on um, what's it? This isn't available on the online download for Xbox or PlayStation, but that really disappoints me. Um, so I think for some reason during cutscenes it does decide to tell me on screen that this is a demonstration. Why it feels a necessity to let me know that, I'm not sure. Ah, grenades as well. There we are. So he's going to tell me to use another control. Oh no, we've got this bugger back. Or is he a new one? No, he's new. I'll be honest, he looks suspiciously similar to me. No, I'll be honest, this game's winning me over right now. This could be one of the best games I've played on this channel so far. I almost, I'm almost sad to be playing on my own, given that it's a multiplayer. Let's have a look. One slightly alarming factor I don't like is the fact that I've only got one life. I don't know whether I should be happy that you can hit someone when they're down. It feels wrong, doesn't it? Feels very wrong indeed. But no, they've captured the spirit of uh, Walk on Beat Much Capcom here. I'm impressed that they've gone to. They've done a lot here. Oh no, no! Run out of laser juice. And there it is. We have the wrist gauntlet. But you know what? Let's go back into the game. I do think it's worth. But let's pause it before we continue. Let's talk about some trivia behind this game because the game does have a history. Now, Alien vs Predator the Arcade game was released in 1994, uh, more precisely the 20th of May 1994. Um, it was published by Capcom, it was largely contest contested over by other developers, but they swung straight in there and got it, largely I reckon because of that pedigree. Now, the games have been around for quite a while, the first major crossover of movie licenses, as already mentioned, was Robocop vs Terminator, and that was in 1991. Um, but the elements of taking two big movie licenses and putting them together, although I'm not unheard of, was largely, um, I would say, improved in a game like this. In Robocop vs Terminator, that you will be seeing at Robbie's Arcade very soon, um, that was very much Robocop as the good guys, and you couldn't play as anyone else. It was a one-player game, whereas this was up to three characters. This is one of those very rare games where it's a cooperative walk along beat up but for three people. I talk about on the channel quite a lot about these rare four-player games like um, uh, Simpsons Arcade, um, this Spider-Man game we featured on the channel a little while ago, and of course Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. But this is one of the rare three-player walk-along beat-em-up games. Now, most corn-up developers had a hard enough time with four uh, co-op players together, largely because you have a game where multiple people play together, they can work together and not have to put much money in the machine. So you might be thinking, woohoo, four kids, they're all putting one pound each a credit or whatever, that's four quid, but it's not the case. You want one player spending a lot more because each one of those kids would have wanted to play and they would have bought one or two credits each. So you can see the reasoning that they wouldn't have wanted to play, uh, pay for a game with this many characters. But three is such an odd number. Like you'd have to have two friends playing and some other sod joining you. There was always this idea of an odd number hanging out. It's quite strange indeed. Um, now, the characters from this game have featured in other games. I'm surprised Capcom haven't featured anyone in this in their popular Marvel vs. Capcom games, of which the very latest version is, of course, Infinity. Um, but Lieutenant Lin Kurosawa, the female character there, she does make a cameo appearance in the background of Ken's stage in Street Fighter Alpha 2. Alpha 2, again, another game coming to the channel soon. Um, chronologically, no one's really certain where this game sits in terms of the movie's plot. There is a feeling that it sits between Aliens and Alien 3, largely because of the technology and the architecture and some of the weapons that are mentioned, as well as the dog aliens of Aliens 3 and references to Aliens 2 throughout, um, or Aliens, not Aliens 2. And lastly, well, over a th it's very rare and there's only a handful of three-player games out there, this is still ranked as one of the best um, two-plus walk-along beat-em-up games of uh, that whole 10-year period of the 90s. And it's an incredibly rare gem that not a lot of people have heard of it, and it's so well put together that you can't even find that many reviews for the game. Whether that's because Capcom was putting the, most of their creative energy back then into the Marvel vs. Capcom games, or X-Men and Marvel vs. Street Fighter, etc. But nevertheless, this is a gem of a game, and I think we should make our way back into it. So, now we're going to play as that cover sour. 
and she is mental. Okay, so I can still use the Predator's weapon, which is quite nice, and I've got unlimited bullets as well, which is quite fun. I think she does not have infinite... Oh no, we have a lot of dead. Lot of dead. Oh. Okay, she sounds not unlike... Um, uh, Sakura from Street Fighter and I think the voice actor did quite well that day oh we got some help from energy here as well oh dear missed it oh we've got some gunnage let's have a look see if we can get to this gun first and we've got the sound effects. That's beautifully done. Please tell me you heard that on the channel there. Lovely sound effects there from the machine gun. Exactly what I'd expect from aliens. Here we go. Kibasawa has destroyed the boss. Nice. Let's see if we can fast forward for all this. I'll be honest, I'm enjoying this game. Uh, it should be mentioned, this game was made available in both two-player and three-player modes, as already mentioned. But what you're seeing today is the two-player version. Uh, the three player arcade, insanely rare to come by. Obviously, you can find ROMs online. Oh, wait, uh, dare I say, it? I've interrupted myself. Let's have a look. Okay, at least the game's given me infinite ammo. Very imaginative, I've got to say. Hoping I can just hold the button. Yes, I can. Again, just... Oh, dear. I'm not sure what I killed the arachnoid. Didn't even realise I was fighting a boss area there, to be honest. If that was the whole level, that was the stage three level. You know that thing that just happened on the screen briefly while you blinked? That was the third level. Okay. So let's take on the queen, shall we? Okay, what are we here? A throwing disc, nice. God, I forgot I had a jump button there, to be honest. Oh, I did not forget I can have a grenade launcher. A kaboom. I'll be honest, that felt great. And it wouldn't be any Aliens movie or game without the flamethrower. Do you know what? While we're here, let's pick up some gems like Jack Bloody Sparrow. Why not? No, this is, I would say, one of the best games. Not just crossover, but walk-along beat-em-ups I've played in a very long time. Okay, I believe we have... Oh no, we have face... Oh, not face huggers, they're chest bursters even. Okay, I'm not sure how I feel about zombies. Now they've really made the most of their license here. Again, still not really happy about the zombies. I don't remember there being any zombies, except in maybe Aliens Resurrection, and even then you'd be pushing it. Also, sorry, I know I've been giving this game nothing but praise, but let's be fair, I don't remember any Aliens film where you used Kung Fu against an alien. Call me crazy, but that feels unnecessary. And it's not going to work. We haven't even referred to the acid, have we? If you were punch one of these buggers in the face, you would get acid hands. But there we go. That is the end. 
of Alien versus, oh, sorry, Alien versus Predator, the walk along, walk along arcade game. I don't know about you, but I really enjoyed that game. If you want to see more games like this or you've got a recommendation for another game pop it down there in the comments but otherwise thank you so much for watching i hope you enjoyed this and i will see you next time on robbie's arcade what have we got on screen let's have a look and